Hello, my name is Annette Cluett, and today I want to show you disaster recovery for virtual machines using OpenShift operators, OpenShift virtualization, data foundation, and Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management. To start with, let's look at the configuration that supports this solution. There are three OpenShift clusters. The top is called the hub. This is where advanced cluster management would be installed. The primary cluster and the secondary cluster are managed by advanced cluster management. And in this case, we'll start with the application on the primary. The application will be a virtual machine. And the data for the virtual machine is replicated over to the secondary cluster, which will allow us to recover to that cluster. Now, if we go to the hub, we start by looking at the application that was installed. And the application, as I said, is a virtual machine. At the bottom down here, we can see there is a, a virtual machine resource. And let's just make sure what cluster it's on. So right now, it's on Hyper 3, which is the primary cluster. So because this is a Windows machine, we can use remote desktop protocol to get into it. I'm going to open the one on the left because that is the one where the VM is currently residing. Once it comes up, I can open the SQL Studio for Microsoft SQL, which is installed on the server. So let's go ahead and log in. And then I created a new database. It's a sample database from Microsoft called AdventureWorks. So let's see what kind of data is in there right now. I'm going to run a query. And this query just looks at if there's any files in the database. And what it comes back with are two files, but those are default files. So let's go ahead and do another query and add some data into AdventureWorks. So this is going to add a file group, and then it's going to put two files of a certain size into that file group. Looks like it completed. So we can go back now and re-execute the first query, two additional files in the database. The plan now is to wait just a little bit because this is asynchronous replication for them to be replicated to the secondary cluster. And then we will fail over the virtual machine. OK, let's go back now after um, we made that change and go ahead and fail over the virtual machine. We just go to Advanced Cluster Management, use the failover option, and then we go ahead and initiate. This will take a, a little bit to um, move it. One thing you notice is that I did it from Advanced Cluster Management. In order for this to work, because it is a disaster recovery solution, it's not necessary that the cluster where the virtual machine is currently running is accessible or even working. So we're able to move or fail the virtual machine over to the secondary cluster, whether or not the primary is available and working. Let's check Argo CD. And we see that it is already on the other cluster, Hyper 4. And then I'll open a new connection to the secondary cluster. Bring up SQL Studio again. Need to log in. 
go back and look for our Adventure Works database. There it is. So let's go ahead and do the query again, the first one to look for data. Okay, so we're on the right database, so we'll execute the query. And now we see on the secondary cluster that the data that we created on the primary cluster is still here. This shows a disaster recovery solution for virtual machines. Thank you for watching the demo and take care.